<laughs> Who knows what evil lurks in the heart of game? <laughs> the Shadow Snows. Hi, I'm the Shadow Snows and I'm back with another Let's Compare video. Tonight I'm going to compare the game uh, Star Trash on the Commodore 64, the Atari ST and the Commodore Amiga. And as always, I start with the Commodore 64 version, which has sound or music by Chris Hilsbeck. And as always, I'm North. And this game is again compatible with, oh, Speed Dots. Why is the fish moving away? Oh shit. I hate the control. Ah, okay, I quit. Catch the fish. Oh. And you really have to move the joystick diagonally. Oh, fuck! Saying this and forget to move the jo joystick diagonally. And yes, I know, some people are probably having fun with such games. I'm not one of them. I mean, everything moves in steps. So also the scrolling, the scrolling is done in, in steps. So I can imagine oh yeah, that this game would not translate too badly to the Atari ST. Oh! This is not for picking up. This is for avoiding or killing. I need to decide to Oh, I thought that thought there was a wall. Oh, shh. Okay, there's no use. Great. Oh. Okay, that's also one to avoid. I guess the vacuum cleaner is also a thing to avoid. Oh fuck! Ah, it's a teleporter! Okay. Ah. Okay, it's an automatic teleporter. You just have to stay inside long enough. Ah, fuck. And I'm not saying that this game is totally crap. Oh. It's 
Not, uh, really, not my cup of tea. Fuck my! How am I supposed to get to get there? And how often can I fight? <sighs> yeah, this is surely not a game for me. And I don't think I'm... Oh! How am I supposed... Ah, okay. Ah. Really? I think I have to collect it. Hee <laughs> I mean, it's not all bad, but very, very frustrating at some point. Oh, okay. Oh, that one to avoid. And I wonder how high this tower is. Oh, there's another key. Yeah, you probably can get used to the controls. But you need a very, very good joystick for this. Even a competition pro. It's not that easy. Why can't I pick up the key? Because I already have one. There are controls. Also not the oh, most responsive. It really feels like you have to fight this bouncing thingy ah, to get where you want it. I mean that may as well be the joystick, but I don't think so. I mean, it would be nice if I could reach the top of this building, which probably finishes the level. Okay, for some reason I gain another life. Do I have? But no. 
You know what? I've played this long enough. It's not terrible, but let's see how the Atari version looks like. Okay, back with the Atari version. How do I... Ah. Space. Infinite cues. Through an... Or by an unhappy coincidence. What? This is complete nonsense, but this is the background story. And this is obviously a German game. And that means player one is... What? How do I start this? What? I'm using the joystick with my right hand. And it asks me what is to play player two. Ah, okay, I could enter a name. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, I would like to start the game. Well, not so much anymore. Ah, okay. So, okay, I'm there. Oh, it, that is slow. But at least... You don't have to use the joystick in uh, diagonals. So at least they learned a bit from the... Oh. And I've forgotten that you don't have to use the joystick diagonally. It's actually more confusing at first. But once you get used to it, it's probably much easier. I'm not a huge fan of the music, by the way. No. Okay, I cannot jump there. Can I jump from over here? No, I can't. Okay, oh. Again, forgotten. You don't have to use diagonals. And this almost looks like those famous Atari bombs. Oh, fuck. I'm actually struggling more with those controls than I am, uh, or I was, with the controls on the C64. You can imagine that I do not like this game. This is a teleporter again, I think. Yes, it is. Graphics aren't uh, too terrible. Why can't I go get up again? Why can't I get up again? Aha. What? Yeah, I just 
Der Maus aus der Teleporter. Oh. I see. Yes, I'm struggling more with those controls than I was with the controls on the C64. Pick up the key. Or did I pick up? I, I think I picked up the key. Yes, I picked up the key. No, fuck! Did not want to. You know what? I can continue on the Amiga. I'm not a huge fan of this game. Okay. Back with the Amiga version. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to play this game a third time, really. Especially. Oh, it's not loading that long. What? the right hand even if it wasn't spelled correctly and this game features very little music yeah that's an effect it's probably not too hard to program on the Amiga Okay, it has the same controls as the ST. Let's eat the fish. Oh. And it actually says teleport. Oh, great! I'm so terrible at this game. But at least I can... Oh, there's another fish. Can I jump? No, I just fall. Oh, I lose points. Thank you. 
Did I mention that I don't like this game? Oh great! I'm back there. Awesome. Yeah, if you really try, you can probably adapt to the controls. Question is, do you want to? Graphics aren't the greatest. Don't I have a key? Oh, there is a key. Oh. Why am I playing this? Yeah, and that's a good question. It's the same, basically it's the same game on, on all three systems, so that's good, but I just don't like the game. I cannot get used to the controls and I find it very frustrating. It's probably Better if you can get used to the controls, but I just can't, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video anyways, and thanks for watching.